Okay, it is time for hem facings. We have front hem facing and a back hem facing. It's exactly what it sounds like. The back hem facing goes along the back and then up the side and the front hem facing does the same thing on the front. This, I'm gonna work on the front hem facing first. So you have two of these and they make this little L shape, right? Here, let me move this out of the way. Like this, you're gonna sew the little short end together at your seam allowance. And then once that's done, press that open and you're going to finish this long edge, which will eventually, by this point, will look like this. Okay, it's gonna be very, very long. So you're gonna run this through your serger. Now you're wondering, how do you do an internal corner on a serger? I get it, it seems a little complicated. Depending on the flexibility of your fabric, you can do a move like this, where, see how straight that is? And you just kind of like, you know, press that out a little bit, just enough for the serger stitches, and then that's it. If your fabric's a little bit more stiff, you can cut a little slit, a little diagonal slit right there, and that'll cause it to open up. Just attaching this at my seam allowance, which should be half an inch. Okay, so once you've got your hem facings sewn together at that short edge um, and finished, then we're gonna attach the facings to each other, but only like the littlest bit. So right sides together. Um, okay, so this little notch here, this notch to the edge is all we're stitching the front and the back together, okay? Just that little bit. So find the short edges, put them together, right sides together like so. And again, you're just gonna sew at your seam allowance from, okay, and you're gonna do that on both sides. So these should be right sides together. And for what it's worth, if you've gotten yours mixed up, I think that the back is a little bit shorter than the front. Okay, so again, we're just stitching right through here, all right? Okay, and once you've got that done, now we are going to clip into these. I know this part is always so nerve-wracking, even for me, but you're gonna clip into the area where the notch is, and you're gonna clip up to your stitching, like really up to it. Where's the other one? Okay, now you can Bring your skirt hem down. This is my front skirt. Okay, so now we're gonna lay this right sides together. I'm gonna start over here because that's also where we're gonna start sewing. So, come up through here, untwist, untwist. This is gonna go around the back of the dress like so. Okay, so now this raw edge, the shorter one, comes up to here. Perfect, yes. Okay, and then pin. And all you're gonna do is sew from this dot down, pivoting, come around and go back up the other side and then repeat the same thing for the back. It's not a continuous seam per se, but just lots of pinning and then all right, so again, we're starting at one of the dots and at our seam line, we're just gonna come straight down and pivot and go around. Now, once the front is done, you're gonna break your stitches and we're gonna switch it to do the back side. Okay, and when you remove all your pins, I'm gonna show you what it looks like at the table. We're gonna come right back over here and do understitching, which is actually my favorite, one of my favorite sewing <laughs> techniques, sewing skills ever. I just think it makes such a big difference. Um, but yeah, let me show you what this looks like at the table. Okay, so we are trimming seam allowances, right? And you can trim the, the straight ones too, not just the corners. I, with this fabric, I kind of want to leave them um, just to keep adding weight to the hem so it's not too lightweight. I also think it makes, you know, the understitching a little bit better on lightweight fabric. So I'm going to leave mine. We're going to go to back to the machine and we are going to understitch. Understitching is sewing 
repeat after me, the seam allowance to the facing, okay, or the lining or whatever you're doing. So um, it's gonna go like this, where the face, the seam allowances are being pushed toward the facing, right? And then you stitch very, very, very close to that seam line right there. And you're gonna, you're not gonna be able to go all the way around. Like in these corners, it's just gonna get too tight, but go as far as you can in every direction. Um, and that'll help pull that seam line to the wrong side of the dress. So you'll never see that seam line. It really, really, really does work. Um, okay. Okay, and when you're done with your understitching and you turn everything to the inside, it just, you can tell, it just does not want to roll. <laughs> that seam line does not want to roll to the outside at all. So go and press this, and then we are going to top stitch this down. Um, I do think that is pretty much necessary for everyone. I guess there's a way that you could probably tack it at the seams if you wanted, but I just think that would just I don't know, probably get on my nerves. I don't know about you though. Maybe it depends on your fabric. Um, or you can do a hand, you know, to make it a little bit more invisible if you want to keep the clean line. I am a little bit upset that I'm going to put a stitch right through here, but oh, I don't know now. I might save that decision for another day. But you guys understand, like, what the goal here is. It's just to, you know, run a stitch over this to hold all this down into place. You will see it on the right side though. That's my dilemma. Huh, so let me think about it while I'm getting all of this looking pretty. So I'm gonna continue on um, with the next video. We're gonna finish up the dress, really. Um, we're gonna put on our straps. We're gonna put on the lining um, and finish up what's left of the instructions on this pattern. So I'll see you back for that one.